Hey guys, welcome back once again to Jurassic World Evolution, where we are choosing a contract today. And you know, honestly, I've thought about this a little bit more in depth, and there have been calls for every single one. But you know what? I kind of think we're going to go with the Science Division, just because there are some crazy creations that can come out of um, not updating your science contract, and I kind of think that that's the way we got to go. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dewar. I run the Science Division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the Science Division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Alright, so, our mission, we, we can't choose to accept it, we already did accept it is build and connect the power to the Expedition Center. So construct the power and connect the Expedition Center to the park's pathway network. The Expedition Center will allow us to send out dig teams across the world in search of dinosaur fossils. The first step in acquiring dino DNA. So, just by doing this, we earn a quarter of a million dollars. My, my god, it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous how easy it is these days to earn a quarter of a million dollars. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your power. Alright, so let's go ahead and do it. We will lay down the expedition center, which basically costs what we're going to earn, if not a little bit more. And we will slap her down um, right about well let's figure out where we can actually place it that first building took so long you know uh, anything oh okay so we can do it just like that so one more thing your reputation your rep quote unquote keep an eye on it okay if you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. There's actually some people out here. Our first people. <laughs> ah. People think money makes the world go around, but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. So the Expedition Center. Send dig teams out to find fossils. You can select anywhere that's based off of real world actual locations. An expedition center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. So we will go ahead and view the expedition map. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. And to me. Alright, let's do it. So, Triceratops DNA, I think that's in Hell's Creek. I knew you were my kind of person. Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Oh, Don't you disappoint. better believe it. So. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. I'm so glad that he had to chime in and tell me that. I mean, that was, that was kind of implied. They're not just going to sit on their ass in Hell's Creek. Your job is simple, really. 
create dinosaurs, which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. This guy just has the whole, um, mustache twirling villain motif going on, doesn't he? So what other formations in the U.S. do we have? We have the Lance Formation, Triceratops, Edmontonsaurus, a lot of herbivores. Oh, it looks like there are several that are locked that are going to take a little bit of time to actually get to. But you know what? That's great because we need to pace ourselves throughout this game. That's one thing that um, Operation Genesis did not do well. It was the fact that you could unlock everything so quickly. Like, if you wanted to binge gameplay, it would just be, I don't know, maybe 20 hours, and you were done. So, hopefully, this will amass us a little bit more time than that. But yeah, Ubekistan. I don't remember going there in uh, Genesis. Mongolia was always a popular destination. China. I think Spino is actually... Where is Spino? I think he's in that formation. I think. I might be wrong. Might be in Egypt. So the dig team's coming back. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. All right, so we're gonna start off with Triceratops because that's like our priority right now. The Fossil Center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! So we're just gonna go ahead and bust through that. It looks like we got a lot of DNA. These ambers, if I remember right, without clicking, um, they could be anything pretty much, including like rare. So I'm not sure if they followed that formula here or not, but it looks like this is very high quality DNA. So we'll go ahead and extract that. And we might, I don't know, depending upon what we get, we might be able to complete this, um, our finances are, are being crippled. Can we do more than one DNA extraction at a time? We can. Wow. Okay, that's great. It really is. Ceratosaurus fossil. Ooh. Oh, you know what? No, we're not doing it more than one at a time. We're just putting them in a queue. That's what it is. So we can fill up these slots, and we can fill up up to six slots. So we will just go ahead and start extracting all kinds of DNA because we have the money to burn. And there you go. A new viable genome. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous. And I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. Most definitely. So, I think after you get 50%, you can create the dinosaur. I want to wait until we get a little higher. Um, and that should only be like about 30 seconds. Just because after we do create that first dinosaur, is going to basically result in the duration of their life on the island. So if we were to create a dinosaur that was at like 51%, it might only last for like a month, and then it would die off because it, it's basically, its genetic structure is unstable, you know? I mean, it doesn't have a lot to lean on, literally, except for its pulsatingly unstable legs. So let's go ahead and Head on out and see if we can create our Triceratops now that is a little bit more stable. And we can. 63%. It looks like its lifespan is 55 days, which I'm sure it's probably a good 15 or 20 days longer than it would have been otherwise. So we will go ahead and incubate this guy. Let's just spin around and take a look at him. 
when it comes out. That's one thing I do like about um, the new gameplay so far is like they will automatically bring you in on that camera angle and that's something that, oh my god, never would have happened in Genesis. So the fact that it's happening here in Evolution is a sight to be seen. Specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. Yeah, I, I don't know how a dinosaur would actually relate to a human being per se, like just walking out really amongst them. I mean, it's like um, in Lost World, you know, they didn't really have a reason to fear humans, so why would they be opposed to being around them, right? So let's go ahead and find our enclosure herbivore feeder. There we go. We'll just go ahead and put that sucker down. Right about... Well, we don't want it too close to the gate. Look at it right here. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later. So, is the trike gonna just run over here and eat the bush? Um, The science division is always on the lookout for ways to improve our bottom line. Alright, so we've already accomplished this, I think. Mm. Oh, look at them. They love the food. So nice to see herbivores getting along peacefully. Alright, so... We need to get along with it here. Construct an operational ranger station. Incubate and release a triceratops with at least 70%, meaning we gotta go back out to the dig site. And research the hookworm parasite, which I'm sure will kill off our first creations immediately. Because what is more fun in a dinosaur park game than a viral infection? Not, not too much. So, let's go back out, and we will head... Did Hell Creek lock? Oh no, it's still there. It's just, it's partly depleted. Yeah, because of fossil robbers. And did we unlock another dig team, or no? No, we haven't unlocked another dig team yet. They're still locked up. So, we will get out of there, and let's see what is going on in the engine database. We have all this new stuff. There's so much to look at in this game, you guys. We're just, like, barely even cracking the center. So I think it's probably a good time to just take a step back, step away. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we will continue on here next time here in another Jurassic World Evolution. Bye.